What is good, guys? It's Ray J back with another video. And in this one, I want to break down what's happening with SPY, Tesla, ES, NVIDIA, the QQQ, and a couple of other stickers. And break down what's happening with the economic calendar moving forward that you should be watching for as time progresses. Let me just mention that I am not a financial planner. Make sure you take nothing I say as financial advice. And also, if you guys can, please check out the Moomoo link. If you deposit $100, you're guaranteed five free stocks. If you deposit 1000 bucks, you're guaranteed 15 in total. And the offer ends very soon in just one day from now. Anyways, the market's seen a very, very interesting move. We saw a bit of a pullback after we got this important Joltz job report, and that actually led to a very, very interesting piece of volatility. So what's happening so far is the Joltz job openings ended up being at a de decline to about 8.18 million in June versus the 8.03 million expected. We actually have more metrics of this. We have the job quits report at 3.28 million. This is once again below expectations. And what matters the most is not necessarily, I would say, just what the numbers look like, but more towards like what the market's reaction is. And so far, it's been more negative to seeing this data. Despite all of that coming out, uh, just notes that, uh, you know, it's not really just about the data itself and more about the market's reaction. And if anything, we've seen a more negative reaction to all of this. So I want to call out the facts that we have a possible head and shoulders like structure kind of developed on SPY. So it's a little hard to see. I'm going to try to make this a little bigger so you can see it. But notice how we had this high right here, right? This is like a left shoulder. We had a higher high. This is like the right shoulder. We made another high right here, which is almost symmetrical to this high. So this is kind of resembling a head and shoulders like structure, which led to this big sell off right here. And then the potential targets now would be all the way down here towards this gap. I think this gap might get filled by tomorrow. There is a risk of this if we end up losing 542. Yes, we did dip below it temporarily, but on the one hour time frame, we have it really close below it. And we're seeing some buyers trying to defend that key support. So that is still keeping us in the range, but just notes that there's a lot of weakness we're on the lower end of this range, and there is a risk of more downside just looking at the trend. So SPY is turning. We're barely holding 542. It might not hold for long. If we don't hold this, if we close below this on the hourly time frame, I think we're going to likely come down to fill this gap towards the 539 area, and there's a lot of weakness developing on SPY for now. And then also on the 4-hour time frame, if you look at this, we're also just barely holding uh, the 542 area. That's going to be our 200 EMA. If that breaks... We'll be coming all the way down here. So you're going to be watching this very carefully. As you guys can see, there's weakness still developing on SPY. And this correlates almost perfectly with that of ES and the others because I actually drew something out that was very important in my last few videos. If you look at ES, okay? ES rejected off this trend line. We have this white trend line. It's very simple. We rejected three times. We had one big rejection here, second one over here, and on the third one, it was actually touched today. So if you look at the white trend line, we touched it today. We touched it and then rejected. So it's happening all over again, and there is a risk of this continuing to fall. Now, watch resistance at 5480, uh, and if that breaks, we have 5490. As of right now, those are the resistance levels. If you fail to break past 5480, we could continue to fall all the way down to even lower levels, all the way down towards the 5450s and, and even below that. So I do see a risk of downside on ES. For SPX, there's a little bit of a downside as well. We have this big white trend line right over here that's kind of like uh, acting as a resistance. We rejected a one, two, and this could be the third time for SPX so far. So I'm seeing some weakness building. We need to break this trend line. We need to break above 5,500 to turn bullish. So far, we failed to do so, and we're actually continuing to fall. The hourly is about to get a bearish cross in the PPO, so I wouldn't be surprised if we start tipping towards 5420. Uh, Looking kind of weak on SPX, guys, so just be very, very careful. For others out there, we have NVIDIA. NVIDIA is barely holding the 105 zone as our support. If we lose this, I'll be looking for 100. If we hold this, I'll be looking for a retest of 108. So far, I think we might shuffle between 106 and 10, or 104 and 108 for now. To be uh, back within our range, we have to get back above 112. We have not done so. So I'm seeing a weakness developing on NVIDIA, and we could continue to consolidate for now. But just know that there is a risk of more downside. We could, we could get closer to the lower 100s if this trend continues. For Bitcoin, we're just kind of range bound right now. We have this resistance around the 66,500 area, and we support all the way down here towards 65,500 as well. It's going to be our key support. If you look at the trend, this is looking a little more bearish to me where we got this big red bar, we've, we've been continuing to decline, and we're making lower highs and lower lows. So this could continue to fall right over here towards 65,000. We are looking a little bit more bearish on Bitcoin. So just be careful with this. This is dragging things down just a bit more.
for others out there, we also have Tesla. Tesla pushed all the way up very close to our hourly 200 EMA, but so far it's kind of struggling to hold it. So when you look at our levels, I'm going to pull up, uh, I'm actually going to keep the hourly time frame. We have 225 coming in as our support. That's going to be a critical support because as you guys can see right here, we had previous resistance becoming support at 225. If this breaks, we'll be looking for 222. If this holds, we could rebound, but it looks like we're going to be testing the 225. Tesla, Tesla looks a bit more bearish to me. For the QQQ, we're looking a little bit more bearish as well. We're going to be looking at 458 if that holds. If that breaks, 455 is coming. If it holds, we'll be looking for 460. As of right now, we're on a bit of a downtrend, and there is a risk of some downside, in my opinion. On top of all of that, if you look at Apple, Apple's also kind of rejecting here. We have this 220 areas resistance. We have key support over here around 216. We've been going back and forth and back and forth, trading sideways. There's not really much changing, at least thus far. So we're kind of stuck right now. Uh, we're not really moving much and just know that Apple is continuing to show weakness. On top of all of this, I just want to mention that the IWM Russell 2000 is also dipping a bit. Uh, could you interpret this as a short term head and shoulders? It's possible. I'm not going to solely count that. Also, you could argue that there's like a cup and handle. I, I'm not going to really worry about any of these. As of right now, all it's doing is kind of shuffling around 222. So it's still showing some strength compared to the market. But just note that it depends on how we end up closing. If we do close below 222, we could be tipping back down to 220, okay? So just be careful with that. It's testing 222.5 as resistance. That's going to be close to our EMAs. And I think we may just continue to shuffle at least as time goes on. For AMD, for those who are interested, we're looking a little bit more bearish as semiconductors are slowing. But we have earnings coming out very soon, so we'll have to see how that treats us. We could be getting close to about 135, but just notes that it's not, you know, too horrible. It depends on earnings. For Coinbase, we're dipping a little bit. We have a head and shoulders I was talking about. If this 232 area does not get reclaimed, uh, if we don't, you know, you know, close above that, we could come down to just straight up fill this gap all the way down to about 218. So there's a risk of some more downside on Coinbase if we end up continuing to fall. We'll also be looking at uh, very, very close to, let me just double check this, 225 of supports. Um, but if anything, we do favor more downside. Amazon pushed about 186 only to reject. Watch 182. If we don't hold this, 180 is likely coming. Amazon's looking kind of weak if we fail to hold 182. So we could be coming back down to 180. Just be careful as the market is slowing down. Meta is barely at 465. If that fails, we'll be looking for this dip back down to about 460. This could also be forming kind of like a head and shoulders. We have this gap down here to fill towards 454. So I see some downside risk for Meta. For Microsoft, we're also dipping a little bit. So we have a head and shoulders like structure. This could be dipping back down towards 420, then 418. If we fail to hold 422, point, 422 flat, Alphabet slash Google is also dipping a little bit. If we fail to hold above 172, we'll be looking for a dip back down towards 170. So I do think there's a risk of us dipping back down. So we'll just have to see how things go from here. So with that being said, I want to thank you all so much for listening. I hope you guys have an absolutely spectacular rest of the day. Tesla is dipping, so is SPY right now. We're, you know, we're a little bit below 542. There's some buyers trying to defend it, but they're kind of struggling to hold us above it. So if we fail to reclaim 542 by the hourly close and we, we don't even hold above it for an extended period of time, watch this gap on SPY. We could continue to fall as we had a head and shoulders like structure. So be careful, guys. There is a risk of more downside, in my opinion. All right. Have a great day. I'll see you guys in a few hours and peace out.